Hi everyone, tonight we're going to be doing a requested look and it was the look that I had on in the brush set video it's been requested by tons of you now so let's get on with it now I'm going to just get me benefit I'm going to use this in my primer today there we go and it's by benefit, it's called lemonade and we're going to be using this today as an eye primer really glad to be on here because I feel like I haven't been on in ages so I'm hopefully going to get a couple of looks done this one is the first so here we go first I'm starting off I'm just applying it with my finger just to cover the whole eyelid area to create a nice smooth base which will help adhere the eyeshadows adhere to the skin <coughs> I'm going to start again on this side Now YouTube's put in video advertising on my videos so just so you know that that's what's happened that's why the adverts at the sides have gone some of the links on it is really funny because I got the odd comment because one of them was how to lose belly fat which is you know goes great on my video doesn't it but that's what was on one of them and also the free MAC makeup kits they're advertised on the video as well so anything is press if it goes wrong don't blame me the videos of the video advertising have got nothing to do with me I didn't put them on there so we've applied what lemonade all over to the eyelid now we're going to take a little brush in fact no we're not this is a medium sized one look I'm going to use a little bit of the Barry M Winner Berry number 88 I'm just going to apply all over the eyelid now this is the look that I had on in that video in the brush set video the recent one and it's been requested by tons of people so we've got a spare window and not many requests to catch up with so we're going to get these done Now I've got four out, so take a clean wet wipe or a Q-tip, whichever you've got handy, and just get rid of that off your cheek. You're going to get fallout always with loose pigments. It's that's what just what happens. What I like to do is, if you've got a pigment that's so loose and you don't like using them, because they can be pretty scary at first, I just press them with some rubbing alcohol you can get it at chemists I think you can anyway I get mine on eBay from Mistral I think that's her name it's an eBay seller and I buy my rubbing alcohol from her and it really is good I press all my pigments and loose eyeshadows that I wanted compact because I think when they're compact you get more of a colour payoff so that's that just apply it the other eye you just want to go the whole way across just a teeny way past your crease not too far up it's a bit higher on this side than it is on that side and it got fall out again so I'll just get rid of that in a minute I usually do my foundation afterwards or and I'll, I'll end up messing it up if I do it beforehand especially with eyeshadows that are loose because they'll just pour all over your face once you've got that on you're going to look like that just get rid of any mess now for the next colour this is something I made earlier yes it is actually a mixture of golden lemon by MAC pigment and I think it's aqua dazzle dust no it's not it's the turquoise one pour the details at the end for you anyway and it's a mixture and it is gorgeous and I just push the pair of them together give them a bit of a stir with some rubbing alcohol and then leave it to set and it just I haven't even pressed it or nothing it's just dried up nice and solid and I'm not kidding you it's gorgeous and I, I like the payoff and these much better we're just going to apply a little bit of that with a smaller brush 
just to the inner corner of the eyelid. You only want to go quarter way in, not the whole half or three quarters or anything, just a quarter of the way in. Same again on this side. It's a bit of a rarish colour, but the whole look is a bit rarish. But I do go out like this. So, and when I do, people compliment us, so it can't be that bad. Whoops. Just going back over, make sure we really dab on that turquoise look in the, con in the, col in the corner. Get there in a minute. I've got some absolutely fantastic news. I am getting my teeth fixed free by a cosmetic dentist who had watched my videos and seen that I lacked in confidence because of the way my teeth are. I hate them, I always have done, and I don't talk properly. I'll try and when I'm talking I keep my lip down and if I laugh I've got to quickly remember and hide my mouth. And when I'm out, it's really bad because I don't feel like I can socialise properly because I'm constantly aware of other looking at my teeth. So I end up coming across a bit strange, maybe, or aloof, or I don't know. But it's because of my teeth. It's not because I don't like people. But they're going to be getting done. I'm going to be getting porcelain veneers, and I'm over the moon. I really am. And I know that you out there will be dead happy for us. And it's going to be starting maybe on Friday, like Thursday this week or Friday. And what I'll be doing is I'll be doing some sort of video diary. So it won't be instead of makeup tutorials, it'll be as well as. So there's going to be some extra videos coming up this week. But I'm going to be doing some video to like video diary clips. I don't know how many yet, but we'll see. And it'll also, it might help someone who wants to get them done and wants to know a bit about them. So at the stages. I'm not going to come on here all gummy, but I might be in pain and my mouth will go out here or whatever. But I'm going to be coming on here and I'm going to do a little bit of a diary on it, as well as my makeup tutorials for the week. So there's going to be tons going up this week, as I'm going to get sick of us. Just to warn you, but that's what's happening. And I've been quite busy at the moment, like lately with it. So just so you know what's lying ahead. Right, the eyeliner we're putting on is by MAC and it's called Jealous and I really do like it. It's a cold power eye pencil and it's really soft and creamy. It's like a dark, rich dark green with black undertone or you could say a black with green undertone. Either way it's beautiful and just apply that all over the lower lash line. Now I'm actually putting it on the skin area as well as on the waterline. So you're getting a nice a thick line of it if you find that your eyeliner washes off on your waterline, that's because your waterline is wet. So I tend to put it along the underneath as well on the lash line with the hairs. I tend to find it stays much longer, even if the waterline does rub off. It is boiling in here tonight because the summer is coming. Oop! Just poked myself in the eye. This looks different. This look is different, but I like it. And I hope you do too. Well, so I know some of you did because you'd requested it, but some of you might not like it. But we're all different. We've got tons of looks coming up, and I'm going to name a couple. A couple more prom looks. I know a lot of you have already had your proms, but I don't know. I keep getting requested them, so that's what, that's what that is. I'm sitting on my foot. I'm terrible for it and it absolutely kills. Right, now we're going to be using some MAC Plush Lash. I actually not completely keen on it, but I've run out of Mascara X, which is my ultimate fave mascara. So we're just going to tip our head back and just wiggle from root to tip. And I know this looks ridiculous, but you will probably be in your own bedroom or your own bathroom doing it so no one's going to see you tipping your head back and giving it a wiggle but it really does coat each lash individually so you don't get clumps same again on this side I 
and then the bottom. Just a little bit though. Some people say you shouldn't wear it on the bottom. I say do what you want. I like it on the bottom. If you want to go out and you want to look like however you want to look, then you do it. Don't feel obliged to fit in with other people. Just separating those a bit better. Then I'm going to leave it to dry. While it's drying, I'm going to apply some MAC lip gloss. This one is in soft and slow and I got this ages ago but I haven't gotten around to using it apart from when I did that look. So here we go. It's like a really slightly pink, dark pink mauve. I like it. It's very neutral. It's nothing too much. Because really if you've got a lot on your eyes, you shouldn't really have too much on your lips. You should try and have neutral on your lips and a lot on your eyes or neutral eyes and a lot of lips. It's just the right amount. While that's been put on, give a little eyelashes will have dried a bit. I'm going to get some more mascara on and really oomph these up. Tip your head back again so you don't catch the skin and just give your wand a bit of a wiggle from root to tip and you'll see immediately by letting the mascara dry and then applying another coat you just it really poof pops I do this all the time and it might not work for everybody but I know it works for me Done. You can add some blush if you want. I'm sure I was wearing peachy cane, but I can't be sure. So I'll leave that out. But that's the look. See, it's dead simple, dead easy. And yes, I go out like this, so nah. I hope you enjoyed. Zoom, zoom.